Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Tasmanian new and fine cheese knife, turning this into this. Let's get started. So as you can see we've centered the blank onto the lathe and on this side we've got the 7mm drill bit centered into the middle and we have the tail stock centered into the middle. Okay, now, now we're on to the second stage. But before we start, we all, if you're going to do stuff like this, you have to make sure you're safe. So make sure you're not wearing any long sleeves. If you are, make sure it's cuffed in at the, on the end of the sleeves. And make sure you always have eye protection. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, we've rounded off about halfway off the wood, but before, before we go any further, we have to measure the cap that's going to go in front of the cheese knife. shape that I want, I can start sandpapering with a 100 grit piece of sandpaper. Okay, now that I've finished, now that I've finished sandpapering with the 120 grit, we're going to start carving off the ends and this is how you do it. Okay, so we've just finished shaping the end to the size that I want and now we need the second tool, the axle, to separate the end. Okay, now after the exciting part, which is waxing the cheese nut. Okay, well, the brand that I like to use the most is the E Ultra Shine wax. So let's get into it. If I just grab a glob of that. Okay, so I've just finished applying the wax. Now I'm gonna start applying the polish. So I've just finished polishing the cheese knife. Now I'm going to get my dad to help me with the end of the end of the way. So there you have it, a Tasmanian hue and pine cheese knife. So 
they have a Tasmanian hue and pine cheese knife. If you guys have any suggestions for next time, don't forget to comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.